What is up, nerds? Welcome back. We are here with another J Heaven podcast, number three to be exact. Um, JD, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Let me throw in that flex. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm swell, here. buddy. Okay, Thanks that's... for having me on. Hey, man. Again. High five. We should. <laughs> oh, my God. I think that worked. <laughs> no, uh, maybe. <laughs> on my side, it looks like shit. But, uh, yeah, man. Thanks for, thanks for allowing me to, the privilege of being on your glorious channel. That's all I got. I was anyway. trying to see if anyone thinks I was <laughs> lagging in there. All right, Jenny, oh. what, what do we got? What do we got? What have you been playing? Um, what have I been playing? Mortal Kombat came out. You that's limb. A limb. Um, that's, uh. I gotta say, just right off the bat, I'm a little disappointed that Shaolin Monks wasn't the, the campaign. <laughs> I would have been super hyped for it because there's literally a chapter called Shaolin Monks. Uh, it's like chapter four or something like that. And I was like, that's, uh, one of, that's one of Kung Lao's remarks uh, to Liu Kang when they fight, isn't it? The intro, uh, something about Shaolin. He's like, well, I'm the I'm the I'm the Shaolin monk, and then uh, Kung Lao, not Kung Lao, uh, Liu Kang says. That's why they call me the chosen one. Oh no, he goes. Uh, cause he goes. Uh, Come on, Kung Lao, let's train. He's like, all you ever do is train, uh, and you wonder why they call me the chosen one. Ooh, <laughs> clap like, back man. was real, dude. They got that shit. No, actually, Liu Kang has it, Liu Kang, Kung Lao. They kind of messed up a lot of his like, because I watched all of them for like Kung Lao for Liu Kang Johnny, of course. Um, I haven't watched Cassie's yet. Uh, I watched Ermax, the freaking Edgelord, and then, uh, or not Ermax, Noob Saibot. Noob Saibot, yeah. Then, <laughs> it's still the same Edgelord. <laughs> and then, um, somebody else's I watched. Uh, it's not coming to me right now. Oh, Aaron Blacks, um, who is still vo- voiced by Troy Baker. I just think he sounded better in 10 than he does on 9, or on 11. But anyway, yeah, I've been playing that, and then also Bloodborne. Um, I have not leveled up. I... I told you I had a goal. <laughs> the yeah. goal was to get the Blades of Mercy. <laughs> it took Did you almost get them? half. I took half a day, but I got the Blades of Mercy. Oh shit! I was, I was like, I need to manipulate her. <laughs> so <laughs> it and and the thing is, is I was overthinking the issue. I was like, all right, I need to fight her in Mortal Kombat. You know, Shao Kahn's got to be watching. And then it turns out I was wrong all along. All I got to do is exploit the AI. Hey, let me run around this corner. You're gonna forget all about me. Back to that backstab, and <laughs> that's pretty much all. Oh out. wow, it's so not like Sekiro where they keep. There's a possibility that they keep their, uh, uh, they get their health they, back. No, they don't. And and I think I was partly thinking that, and I was thinking like in Sekiro they hold they hold hate longer. So I was like, there's no way she's gonna ignore me. And then, she's running full sprint at you. I don't remember her never not being aggroed on someone. Yeah. No, legit, like, the second I come in, oh, a hunter! <laughs> you know, just <laughs> running after me. Because I, I backstabbed her once, and then she's just upset. So. But I did get it. I did level up the stake driver, because um, right before you go to the Hemlock Grove, there's a um, those uh, dogs that have the spikes through them can drop twin shards, twin blood shards. Uh, so I grinded over there, but I ended up getting enough to... Uh, make the I don't think I'm gonna stick with the stick drive. It sucks as a weapon, but uh, but fun. I don't even know about that, man. I'm really just questioning myself. I even got the blades of uh, blades of mercy up, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Was so, it worth it? I think I'm. I think I'm waiting for the old hunter's weapons. So after we have to beat Vicar, but after we beat Vicar Amelia, I can go to the old hunters. I'll probably get the heavier whip and use that for pretty much the entirety of the game. So. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go down that secret path that I don't, I don't remember where it's at to get uh, Ludwig's blade. Honestly, like if you do that offline, that's not an issue because we're not progressing. It yeah. shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for anyone that, for anyone that missed it, we didn't progress too, too far. For anyone still, in, I mean, still paying attention to the Bloodborne playthrough, I'll probably just pencil it in once in a while uh, during the podcast. But uh, again, we're playing Milk Toast. We are only leveling up enough to use our primary weapons. I'm using Ludwig's, uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade. <laughs> Um, uh, as my final and only weapon, so um, I'm used to being able to use uh, all my stamina, but now my stamina has two swings, maybe. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, um, what else, man? Is that it? Just Mortal Kombat 11, slight disappointed. So, uh, Bloodborne. Mm. Any more division? Have you beat the division yet? 
Uh, no, actually, uh, me and Spencer have been running through it. I haven't progressed unless we've played together, but I'm getting to that point where I'm just like, I kind of just want to beat it myself. Running into like, that. I mean, that's that's a whole other topic is co oping Like, staying yeah. reliable to a co-op. I mean, even me and you, we both have full-time jobs, two different states, best friends, it's, but... It's, it's difficult. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, no, that's kind of it. I don't think... Um, I've been playing Dead or Alive, obviously. Uh, still love that game. It's unfortunate about Evo that it's not going to be a mainstay game, which is bullshit because it's a good game. Yeah, we. Um, uh, I'd like to again say. I mean, we could talk about it anytime, but we uh, we will be going to Evo. We got a little hotel place lined up. I think my I think my newer ever since after I got clapped in Marvel vs. Capcom, but I we <laughs> whipped those kids' ass and uh, cross Tekken. I yeah. think I hung up my hat specifically for competing, but I will always do third strike side tournaments. Um, but before I get too off track, um, mobile games, Guilty Gear is going really well still. Uh, I pulled Biken. Um, I know. I think we talked about that last time that Guilty Gear the collab came out, so I got Biken. Um, and then Soul Bad Guys almost leveled up. Takes a lot of grinding. Uh, really pumped for his skill set. Yeah, I'm um, surprised on that one. Yeah. So next Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we're gonna get an update. Uh, that does a tournament mode, uh, not what you think, not FGC tournament mode, but uh, it's going to allow, it's just like a storyline kind of predictable, but it's awesome. Yeah. The music's authentic. Uh, they have a stage that literally says heaven or hell in the back. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's from Exerd. Um, uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is going really well. Uh, right now we have the Xeno Gears part two banner going on. God uh, damn. Xeno yeah. Gears. Part two. I never played Xenogears, that's the thing, and it's, uh, FFB is really hyped for it, the community, because Xenogears is, it's a classic, uh, square soft, uh, game, so, yes, um, game. uh, I played, I played Xenogears, so Cosmos is what I know, I know Android Baby Girl, that's all I know, I don't know anything about Faye, B- Bart, or Ellie, but I, I, anyway, I got Ellie, so on this second banner, I'm not, I'm not too excited for it, I'm so pumped as fuck for Esther, uh, I'll talk about her until the cows come home, and that was a terrible analogy, but, um, I don't know what's coming up next week, uh, JD, your boy, will be here next week, um, so look forward to some pulls, uh, both, both in, uh, Epic 7 and Brave Exvius, um, aside from that, I kind of dropped Sekiro, uh, not that it was on purpose, uh, but I've jumped right back into Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I I pre-ordered Shadowbringer, so I got that earring that's giving me more experience. I'm at 35, um, and I just I just unlocked um, uh, the two other uh, ninja abilities. Um, I forgot which I think not. It was either Ten or Chi. The second one you get at level 35 that allows yeah. you to do the Thunderbolt and fire. So now I'm starting to get to the hype stuff. Yeah, man, I'm starting to. I, I mean, it's 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 getting really hype. So I definitely want to put the. I mean, this Sunday it's not going to work because we're going to a concert, um, which is why JD's coming down. We'll be headed to California, but uh, yeah. Sundays at ten o'clock is typically when I stream. Uh, JD, who's leaps and bounds ahead of me uh, in content for that game, uh, normally is on Discord with me, um, just kind of helping out if I need it, answering any questions. So. 10 o'clock PST on Sundays is typically... I'd like, like I said, I think for my... for Personally, for Cloud's Twitch uh, career, uh, I, I like to play the odd game, like Sekiro uh, and co-op games with you. But honestly, I'd, ra- I'd rather keep the Brave Exvius and Final Fantasy XIV as like main sta- staples of like, hey, hey man, Cloud, when are you playing this game? When are you playing this game? Because uh, I, unfortunately, I, I don't know at what point having a full-time job uh, in the career field that I have to be able to, you know play all these games and still go to school and all this but off track uh both the mobile games per the usual um uh, drop secure a little bit um that's it man i've not played a console game this week mm. god damn yeah man feels kind of weird hell? but what's up man so what's what's the first topic on the menu um well the first thing that is real fam is um some questions from the podcast okay. uh, of course Always, of course, if you guys have questions, um, what would you say is the best way? Would you prefer comments or would you prefer Discord? Uh, comments is fine. Uh, we've had a few comments. Uh, we definitely track uh, the comments, reply back, I'll heart them. Um, either the Discord, which is in the link below. Yeah. 
Uh, join the Discord. It's specifically my Discord. If JD ever wants to open up one, that's that's his prerogative. He is in the Discord, though. He is the Dragoon. Um, uh, or the comments below. Um, so I think we got I think we got two questions from Kronos. Yeah, the first one in this case is, what kind of uh, collectibles do you like to collect? Well, JD? I, I could feel your eyes on me. And let me tell you. Um... I honestly, I kind of don't know, man. Like, so check it out. All right, so let me go get this real quick because I would say this is probably the closest thing that I've got to collectibles. Um, it's you know severed heads. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> is uh, this is kind of this is nerdy. This is much nerdy, much more nerdy than what people would expect. Is uh, Gundam uh, building sets. So these are actually cool. Uh, to build and to you know to have like it takes a lot of fucking work, but they're super cool because you can detail them like crazy. Like um, Leo actually got me that. Uh, I have just a ton of. He got me that, and then all of these like gadgets for like clipping off, filing down certain parts of it. Mm -hmm. um, um, this is actually it's a straight razor. So you can like cut into like certain, make them more angular and stuff. Can you? Uh, are you the guy that recorded that video of cutting the grape, the grape skin off? <laughs> That's like the exact tools for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here are the pliers for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So like, it's there's a lot of like gadgets for this stuff, and then of course there's like markers that you want to, you know, have for it. But I'd say probably that. I just haven't gotten my favorite Gundam, um, back. To, to do that i was gonna buy death scythe randomly and you know death scythe right uh the... gundam wing it was the one with the scythe that had the uh the sort of buckler that would shoot out yes it was, was it was uh... yeah yes what, what's the reg what's the regular gundam's name the the like america wing. colored one wing wait, wing okay. america wait hold on in, in gundam wing in gundam wing okay yeah it's wing with the, wing. An, uh, with yep. the angel and all that stuff. uh and then there's um I was gonna get the RX-78, which is Amuro Ray's Gundam, I believe. It's like the old school G'd out Gundam, but I ended up getting it for Eric, uh, my roommate. And- um, He's a real best friend. <laughs> he's got that. But, uh, and then I got, I think I, I got my brother, like, it's like, this is actually a pretty like nice size one. I got my brother one that's like, dimension wise, it's like that big. So I hate to call you out. Do you have any built like that you can show off right now? No, Weird I don't. I oh, okay. I just started coming back to it okay. so it's fun to do but it's like as soon as i get home like man fuck work i just want to play games and then, yeah 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 so it's hard build to me build me and, and the thing that scares me the most is when i eventually do move i don't want these guys getting broken so it's like it's hard to yeah that's a solo that. carry like in your car to the new crib yeah right uh with some cushions you know and cargo. You gotta gotta treat it right yeah but at the same time that would probably be the closest thing that I'm looking at as far as uh, collectibles. The other thing I would say is, and it's, I guess it's sort of weird, but it's, it probably have to be like specific anime movies. <laughs> uh, on the first podcast, I already showed it off. So I have like Sword of the Stranger. Um, I have uh, Kuroko's Basketball, which is region locked. So that's fine. <laughs> Depressing. Really. I think you have to show that off. I think we talked about it, but yeah, I don't oh, think you, you got to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell them. Tell them about it. Tell them the story behind it, and then I'll get to my collectibles. Soldier Boy, tell them? Okay. Um, so I've got... Yeah, and I guess, technically, it's really just Asian cinema, if I'm thinking about it. Because I... <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. So, Kroko's Basketball. Age... Age-gated. <laughs> um, uh, re region locked. As you can see in the back, it's entirely in French. <laughs> So, you know, I had to go through great lengths. It took like three months for that to get here. And then this bought the day before it came in. And then I was like, you know what? Yes, because yeah. I lost my copy. Now this one is, oh, I did open this one, but brand spanking new, yeah. which great film. Um, Such a good film, man. It's just simple and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no, there's no big outcast, you know, in a world of Avengers that we live in, where everything's on a grand scale magnitude, it, that anime is just isolated. one small town. Isolated, best term, best term to come up with. Yeah, so there's a couple others I want to get. Like, I never got into the um, 
Is that like the floating castle and what's the uh Miyazaki? <laughs> I know. Keep going, keep going. Obviously, my computer went to sleep. <laughs> I saw the fear on your face. You're like, <gasps> me? Um, but yeah, like, I never uh, got movie castle. Stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I never got into it, so it's new to me. But I'd probably find. The older I get, the more my taste change, man. It needs to be. I mean, not that it changes. It's more specific. I could. I used to be able to deal with, uh, like talking animes. Or like you know, um, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, Ponyo. Um, oh yeah, that's on music. Right? Uh, even yeah, yeah, and then even Akira. Akira didn't have Akira wasn't this built on action. It was built on. <laughs> it was built. Uh, Akira is built on like a good, a very good storyline, and a few, uh, not a few, but some really good, really really good scenes. But it wasn't. There was no action scenes. Loop in the third didn't. It wasn't an action orient. It was an action anime, but didn't have hand to hand combat, which is. A lot it of had it. the, yeah, it had the, what the, I don't know the guy's name, Go, 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 Go Goemon, Goemon, um, it had a really cool scene where he was, like, slicing people's arms off and stuff like that or whatever, um, when he was, like, approached, I think, by the Yakuza or whatever, I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, like, as, as I've gotten older, it's not the point where it's, like, like, One Punch Man is my, is, is a fix for me, but before we get into an animated thing, um, uh, I collect so old video games. Um, maybe one day I'll do a little tour. So both these. Uh, well, hold on, you have your worst. You made me show and tell. What's your like oldest or your most prized collected? Oh, game? oh, I got you, fam. I don't have my AirPods in, so watch oh. the track. Okay, excuse me. Yeah. Anyway, hey Sasuke, how you doing, man? You doing great? All right, cool. How's the stream going? That's awesome. Look at this guy creeping around. <laughs> he's creeping around like he's stealing. This thief over here. <laughs> Alright. My headphones back on so I can hear you. The fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> you just look like you were stealing from your own house. Like a <laughs> like, yeah. Alright, so so right out the gate, I have the demo disc of uh, Final Fantasy VII. I also have the Japanese um, uh, Final Fantasy VII, the all all discs. Um, uh, the back of it's really dope because that's when uh, Bushido Blade was the shit. And it has tactics on there, yeah. So this is that's nice to have. Uh, I found this at a uh, Goodwill. Uh, I know it's reversed for you guys, but The Office is my favorite TV show, um, and it's 100% sealed. So that was such a good find. Like it's an it's an official licensed Office game. Um, but my most prized is a CIB, a complete in box uh, Super Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, Created and developed by Squaresoft before they became Square Enix. Um, Super Mario RPG, an amazing game. I could almost on par with tactics, OST wise. Like I could tell you every level, uh, every boss. Genos, I wish was in Super Smash Brothers. Um, so collecting old video games is probably at the at the top of my list. Uh, I've gotten into um, just anything video game related. So. Uh, back there is just odds and ends. You could see uh, big ass Sasuke. Uh, there's Bardock. I got um, Fallout stuff. Anything video game related, I like to keep. Uh, if it's official, I want it. If it's unofficial, I also want it. So I, I live in between the world of like unofficial bootlegs backslash uh, the Pit Boy that came out with Fallout Four. So um, yeah, that's that, that that's my collectible side. Um, what was the other question? Oh, it, it <laughs> next. It, it literally lagged for you. It lagged. Are you sure? Yeah, no, one hundred percent. But keep going, keep moving. Maybe if I'm completely silent. No. Nope. Was that Drax line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, in plain sight. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any other hobbies besides playing video games and watching anime? Well, I can answer Troy's question and he can answer mine. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, JD watches anime and UFC, videos. bro. <laughs> <laughs> UFC, bro. Let me tell you, I also like to lift. Heavy. I, I <laughs> love doing UFC. <laughs> Can't wait to go to the UFC and then pick up the weight and put it back down again, and then do it maybe like eight to ten more times. Take a break, go back to it again. That's a, that's really a, a shallow interpretation. Yeah. There's more that he does, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Very vapid. Ah, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, weightlifting, weightlifting is a big part of that. Anything, anything physical related, 
Um, I'm getting my bachelor's degree in sports and health sciences. So a dream of mine, aside from being partnered on Twitch and playing video games for a living and making people's lives better, is to train MMA athletes, which would be the direct opposite and in inflicting pain on people. Um, <laughs> making but, only one person's life better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only, yeah. And, and even then, uh, I've trained two MMA fighters uh, for strength and conditioning. Uh, one of them won his fight by a rear naked choke. The other one broke his clavicle. Uh, yeah, from an axe kick, yeah, that was yeah, poor guy. Um, uh, also, enjoy anything physical combat related. Uh, I box. Uh, I do jujitsu for quite a while. Uh, that was no gi jujitsu, so there was belts involved, but I never used a gi. Um, and aside from that, um, video games and anime. Uh, but anyway, what about you? What about you, JD? What, what don't the people know? Oh, so I'm I'm way more boring than you. Um, I do my best with the gym. But uh, I've got a squat rack <laughs> at the uh, in the garage, so there's pluses and minuses with weights and all that shit too. So it's it's better for me to not have to leave home to work out, mm -hmm. which is much easier to be honest. Um, my EOS gets fucking packed right before I leave work and when I come back, and it's just like the other alternative is waiting until what ten o'clock. Better go work out now at night. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But um, outside of that, uh, I'm really big on movies. Um, I enjoy, like I'm an art major, so obviously, what someone said it to me the other day, like you just look for shit, <laughs> like not even necessarily shit where it's like that could be hey, interpreted every different way. Yeah, but at the same time, like he's like, yeah, you just look at shit, and this this is coming from a dude that's like, you know, um, what was his reaction? Uh, I don't like that my son gets on Facebook or uh, gets on Instagram. He's got like a 10 year old kid. I mean, my kid 10 years old isn't going to be on Instagram either, but at the same time, Fucking he's, old like, he's always in his freaking phone, you know? Why is he out going, you know, hiking or something like that? And I'm just Why don't like, you go get a scratch on your leg, son? <laughs> right? It's fucking Arizona, man. Like, it's already 100. Fuck no, that, man, yeah. I don't want to do that. So. Uh, I'd rather not die, and uh, I don't know. Gamers are bred here, <laughs> so it works out. Gamer but... fuel. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... oh, you know Scorpion Dabs, right? Side note. <laughs> and one of his. When he teleports away, <laughs> he dabs. I gotta see I... this now. Dude, it's bad. <laughs> I'll try to find the video. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, movies, man. I'm really into movies. Obviously, me and you have seen a very pivotal movie just recently. Um, had some tears. Had some Dude, I had, to, I had to wipe my eyes away, man. That <laughs> shit hurt. You, you know, <laughs> that shit hurt it. I saw it with my brother. And my brother literally did this, made it so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. I was just like, let me cry. <laughs> Yeah, like he's on my right. I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, but um, I'm sure you guys can guess what we watch. But at the same time, um, yeah, man, like I like going out and seeing those random off the wall ass movies. Like Mule is interesting to me because I know, you know, with Clint Eastwood. Yep. Because it's Clint Eastwood. You know, he's an amazing actor and you just like seeing people, <sighs> how they get into character and stuff like that. Like I touching on like the office and stuff. Like when you look at how how the main reason why that show is so successful is because the characters are believable, not just by the writers, but how, how these actors did with them. Yeah. Right. Like John Krasinski's barely coming out of Jim, you know, because you, you got to deal with him in Benghazi. You got to deal with him in uh, um, what's it called? The silent movie. I can't think of it. Don't don't speak. Um, <laughs> What the fuck is it called? You know what I'm talking about, though. A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place, thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, co-produced by Gwen Stefani. Um, no, just not your thinking. Right. Choice words for Bruce are, don't speak. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, with all that in mind, uh, mainly probably like film or really just any medium like that. I, I love music. Obviously, me and Troy have similar, if not almost exact music intro? I don't think there's like if there's no. something I like and I show it to you you're usually yeah. down but so. I mean uh, this is a very austere way of saying it or, or rustic but uh, metal hip hop uh, some modern day rap country no. <laughs> yeah horses in the back um, 
I mean, yeah, the, I would say those are the top three. So metal, hip hop. Uh, I mean, because we listen to anything on the sun. I mean, we we have a YouTube video on my page of us singing and dancing you to and sing. Hell's yeah, dude! We watch that on stream uh, at least once a month, dude. And oh, people yeah. know you now. People are like, "That's J. That's your boy, JD." That's that fro, motherfucker. <laughs> dude, you were style, yeah. man. Put your fucking foot in my shot, though. <laughs> Desecrated hey, my father's Air Force talk, legacy. Talk, talk all the shit you want. I was the first person that brought the energy. I, there was no shit talking. I vibed so much. You're the one that you're the one. Look, you try to absorb my shirtless antics by putting your foot in the shot. Also, Wait, I was you have that, all your videos. You have all your videos. Yeah, Aladdin. You, have, you got my. <laughs> huh? Yeah, my humps is still on there. My humps, uh, Aladdin, which I'm gonna recap that bitch when Aladdin comes out. <laughs> oh, do we God. might need? Do we might need to bring it back? Oh, Obviously, no. excluding some members, but we might need to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're at we're at half power. <laughs> but uh, either way, no, that's uh, that's actually really cool. I didn't even know you still had that. I thought you'd be like, all right, new year, new me, boop, and then save that to like a Google Drive for. <laughs> the ancient like... dude i still have the videos of when i tried to start my beast mode cloud 7 heaven channel oh, fuck. um when i was in the dorms uh and it was bad dude like i tried to make a video about my tattoos and i i it's it's i i would not be surprised a couple years down the road i'm on a cringe comp compilation because like hey this <laughs> a streamer named cloud look at him when he started when he had no hair the consumer is finally consumed <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's um, that's like if you look at people like Markiplier when they talk about like their first video, it's just really like, oh god, it's like a car that stops and goes and just. It's oh. tough to look at, dude. But I mean, you know, it's it, it's always nice to look, to look back and see how far you've come. Like my yeah. confidence, I've always had confidence in speaking, um, but looking back, it's just my material, my delivery, my material, my mannerisms, everything's better. I was just like, I, I, you force yourself too much when you're on YouTube. To like yeah. when you're getting recorded and there's no one here to direct you, you're like, "All right, guys, welcome back." Like, I anyway, <laughs> dead quiet crickets on your end. I oh, know it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no one cares, Claude. Yeah, you you want to know a secret? I don't think I've ever told you this either. Um, when I was in the military, I was convinced I had a good voice for singing. <laughs> What the a, fuck? I made a video <laughs> of me singing. The second I heard my voice, I deleted the video. No! I was just like, I did an entire, um, Mike Posner was big then. So I did uh, Cool Like Me. Did you put auto-tune in the back? Or you just did it raw, like in the bathroom? I needed, I needed auto-tune, like squared, <laughs> to sound <laughs> deep. To because I, I got, no, no, no. So I was in my uh, barracks room. Right, I didn't have a roommate at the time, and you know, you know how our stuff was set up. It was like cut off, so I didn't have anybody. The freaking walls were built by, you know, bricks in the '40s, <laughs> so like, there's no. Oh way sound yeah, there. I slept on the floor. Your uh, brick room is fucking <laughs> shitty, dude. I just sleep on the floor, man. That's like how you treat it. Hey, at least I had my freaking. Wait, at least you had a floor. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Here you go, recruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wonder how he's doing now. He's probably married with kids. But <laughs> he's like Sergeant Major. <laughs> Get there! Uh, what's my name, recruit? <laughs> you want me to get on that quarter deck, huh? You tell me. Yeah. Oh my god. I wish I could record boot camp. It was awesome. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I did that video and I was just like, what the fuck was I thinking? I think I was drunk too. Um, so I was just like, no never again so embarrassing embarrassing um but you, you you know good and bad content when you see it that was nightmarish content at the end of the day quality dude I, you can call it whatever you want man quality Ooh. uh also i'm really pumped you told me about uh layers of fear on the 28th thanks for that i know oh, yeah, that's, that's off right. track but i i definitely been missing out because visit I, I don't know what the correct pronunciation is visage or visage i think it's visage, visage. Uh, but yeah. I, there, there's been no update with that game, so I, I, I've been needing a fix. I'm still that trying to get. Is not already out? Yeah, yeah, but there's chapters. Chapter one's done. Oh, this is like some Walking Dead. Oh, dude, it's so, going on with Clementine. Yeah, so fucking good. I'm still trying to see if Lee uh, will let me uh, borrow the VR for when you come down. So Saturday, 
Because Saturday, uh, Saturday will be a day where pretty much we'll hang out all day. I don't know what we're gonna do, and then we'll, we're gonna watch Kuroko. Um, yeah. But which, I don't know. by the way, they segmented. That's why I wanted to watch it. I didn't want to just like watch one episode. They segmented all the games into like a, a two-hour movie. Games. So like, oh yeah, because there's the, multiple yeah, games yeah. that they play. So like, the first game is two hours, and they just like go over the drama in the game. They don't talk too much about the training side of it. So that way it's more appetizing to maybe the misses, you know? Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt Yeah, I'm I really doubt it. With it. I'm no, really no, trying no, with dude. It. I, so uh, there's certain animes that, again, like I said, talking animes, the ones that there's really no action. It, it's storyline based. I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this. On my stream, I get asked a lot about Persona. Yeah. And Persona is. Pardon me? The anime and the game. Both. Yeah. And I the only. I mean getting off track but the only anime I'm sorry the only game I ever played was Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne because it had Dante in it from Don't Make Cry 2 you didn't play Persona 3 I never play, I've it? never loaded and played Persona I might I have Persona I might have watched you play it but I've never yeah. said oh I can't wait to get on and the with Persona 5 Royale on the horizon and Joker being released in Brawl like you know chat and when I'm, when I'm streaming chat's like hey you know and, and, and I'm receptive but yeah. he, like when I watched Royale trailer I still felt nothing. I enjoy that loop in the third. Oh, I'm sorry, Cowboy Bebop vibe of like the. I, I always want to call it like uh, the Austin Powers like Kill Bill. I'm trying to. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm grinding my thoughts. Get out of there! <laughs> Speak <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, you know Cardi B. Anyway, I was gonna do this. The track I did before I started. Um, anyway. Uh, I enjoyed them. Like the music was good. I just can't. I don't know, man. When I watch it, uh, anyway. I, one day I hope I can get into the Persona series. Uh, I'm going off on a tangent on that point, but um, that's fine. But... Persona, Persona's good. Like it's like one of those things where you get it, you know, you're in for a good time. Persona Five being the most popular, uh, apparently it's sold the best too. So it's like, hey, that's cool. It's just, it's, uh, man. I, I'm, I'm, I've... I, I, I've understood that I'm a basic consumer. I need, I mean, we, I, we joke about it. We joke that all oh, my characters need to have a uh, troubled past, white hair, a missing piece. Their bo a body part needs to be missing or enhanced. <laughs> like, Kratos is about as raw as I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? Cloud dresses up as a chick, I co-sign. That's kind of changing. Um, <laughs> and in past. any case, um, like, I, the wave of Persona might be hitting me here pretty shortly. But then again, I also I want to go back to the beginning, man. I can't just jump into Persona Five or well, they're go all back different. To three. I know, but that's like if I told someone you need to play Final Fantasy X, I don't think they could really understand it if they didn't play Final Fantasy IV or Final Fantasy VI. Well, well, your first was four. Did you play one, two, or three? They weren't played, even available. I played two. Technically, two was four, but I mean, well, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, but I, but it's the the. It, if I were to drop right into Persona 5 right now, I... But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Again, you, didn't the play, you didn't play Resident Evil 1 first. You played Resident Evil 2 first, didn't you? I played Resident Evil 2 first. So it's just like, you know, it's not that I, bad. But it, I, again, man, I'm at a different... Uh, I'm at a different the wine taste. The first one I ever played, the first Resident Evil I ever played was 4. I hate the guy feel. The first Resident Evil you played was 4? I watched my brother play 2. What about 3? And I watched him play one. I watched him play all those. Gee, I never you played. Backseated way four, too long. Four was the first one I played because I was like, "Thank God I could finally aim." And then they're like, "By the way, there's chainsaws," and I was like, "Very hard gulp. <laughs> I'll do it," you know. And then eventually I beat it, and I was like, "Fuck this!" And then five came out, and that was just a campaign of co-op and friendship breaking, like frustration. Like, why don't you just shoot the guy instead of standing there looking at your inventory? Like arguments. All it was. Army of Two almost ended a friendship too. Outbreak. You played Outbreak. Outbreak. That I'm was crazy. that was PS2. It was it was Kevin. It, like <laughs> <his. laughs> that was Kevin. And then David is. I've got a pair of keys and uh, some plastic. Yeah, I can make a gun out of this. <laughs> <You're> like, <"What laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, those. They should do remakes of those. Dude, Outbreak was good, man. Uh, maybe Day Z, not Day Z. Uh, World War Z. That's another game that came out that's kind of similar. No, honestly, like, it is World War Z. And Maybe I was like, game. I didn't get that game because people were like, you know, oh, it's, it's not that good, blah, blah, blah. And then it came out and people were like, it's Left 4 Dead. It's just third person. I'm like, that might not be a bad idea game-wise. Yeah. 
the Left 4 I mean, Left 4 Dead. Honestly, Left 4 Dead always to me felt like a not a comedy game, but like uh, Dead I- not, uh, Dead Island. Dead Island and Left 4 Dead kind of fit that same category of zombie for me. Yeah. I've never felt scared or or <laughs> I felt scared in Left 4 Dead. Nervous? No, man. They got a, a the witch. What the do they witch? call him? A booger? What's his name? A boomer? The boomer. Yeah. Dude, the witch though. Like yeah, if you're going to an area, it's you're going boomer. to an area. Shut up. <laughs> we're going to an area and there's there's a, a witch that's right in the door and you're like, ah, fuck. And then someone's like, all right, I'll draw him away. I'm probably going to die. Like, hell no, that sucks. But there's dude. like unlimited ammo in that game. It's like Borderlands. For your pistol, not for everything else. You had to you had to reach the supply points to get your ammo back, man. I just don't feel... I never felt like I was in a terrible spot when I played the game is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, but like that, I mean, Dead Island Left 4 Dead fed that side. I, Day I'm Z, never worried. <laughs> Day Z, uh, oh, I'm sorry, gosh, uh, World War Z recently. Yeah. i just been watching YouTube videos. It does look a lot of fun. I, nice. I'd like for us to start playing Sniper before we jump on, and Diablo before we jump on anything too crazy. But Oh, yeah. Well, mm, <laughs> that's, uh, that's indicative of our progress in Bloodborne. That's, or that's um, reliant on our progress in Bloodborne, I should say. Yeah, this. I mean, this next week's gonna be. I mean, honestly, I mean, I know we're speaking on the podcast, but we should try. I'll probably send out a, a, a tweet. And definitely join the Discord, and there we go again with the uh, camera. But uh, definitely join the Discord. Um, link below or follow me on Twitter. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to shoot for Monday or Tuesday uh, for I'm Bloodborne. Actually... Yeah, dude, let's do it. Let's do it tomorrow. Uh, I, I, I go back to work tomorrow. I've been gone doing training. A week this week, so I don't know what's gonna happen Monday. But if I'm back home Monday, then yeah, I'll let you know. Also, well, I, I I apologize for my mic; it keeps crackling. I can hear it. Oh well, yeah, you're the recording side, so maybe it's gonna. But maybe it. yeah, I hear crackling. But anyway. But I I will tell you this. So I stream I stream Mortal Kombat right, and I was like, uh, I honestly couldn't talk too much for two reasons. I didn't really say too much of anything for two reasons. One, my brother was at this desk playing here while i'm playing over there uh, and then two we had like 80 fans on because we have his playstation overheats so all you hear is <laughs> on his side i'm sorry if you guys are listening to headphones i apologize oh but that's rip. what i heard and i'm just like fuck man and then i couldn't talk i got through most of the the story and then some real life stuff happens which i'll talk to you about after the podcast and then and then um i was just like Fuck man, now I can't even do the po- uh, now I can't even complete the stream. And I was just like, let me just beat this goddamn game. But what I intend to do is, if me and you don't play, I was thinking about doing um, Dead or Alive and just streaming because a lot of people don't know about it, man. And it just drives me up the fucking wall. Like, how do you not? It's okay if you don't know about it, but the fact of if you're a fighting game enthusiast and you're sl- you're skipping out on this game just because there's like sexual like yeah there's a they over sexualized cost- females not every female that's the thing is like so like the default costumes for like tina is obvious right you know i'm a wrestler yeah yeah you know like that one's clear cut you jump <laughs> where's over my that- cousin <laughs> 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 or my daddy and then you jump over to uh yeah <laughs> you jump over to um what's it called I am normal. Same thing with Hitomi. Hers are pretty like chill. Um, the people who have the craziest ones and it fits their like sort of like character is La Mariposa, which is Lisa, and you know she's thicker than a snicker, so of course. And then um, uh, Christy, right? Christy is a, a an assassin, so she has to dress like seductive. Well, she doesn't have to, but she chooses to dress more seductively. It's in her character. It's like people freaking out about assassin characters in other fighting games like Taki doesn't have a skin suit where freaking nipples are bleeding through so yeah you know it's like it's it's there it's whatever but not every character has it. like the new girl Nico I hope she's of age <laughs> because they might have one costume where she's like looking like that uh, uh, Honoka is probably the worst because her costumes are shitty but whatever outside of that like Mila that's where I stay at. So, you know, she's got UFC or not UFC, MMA oriented co- uh, costumes and shit. But outside of that, 
it's it's JD that's pretty much it for that <laughs> I was lagging oh, 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 oh it was perfect it was perfect oh man cause it went that's pretty much all I got for that anyway um outside of that that does remind me when we used to play dead or alive 2 like hardcore dude i <laughs> anytime you ta- anytime you raw tag in that's a free dual tag <laughs> and a, a, and a glare <laughs> just oh, like... yeah dude don't raw tag in man yeah immediately are you serious <laughs> are you serious bro what are you doing what are you thinking that and we had a cycle back then was it jump skate Play Diablo, uh, play a real tournament, parkour, play a game. <laughs> and then I'd put mayonnaise and mustard on pizza. Oh god! And somehow drink the pizza. <laughs> Dude, man, <laughs> nothing fills me up better than that. <laughs> to this day, I still do that, man. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, <laughs> except if the pizza, if the pizza's high quality, though. I, I, I don't go to places like Pizza Rock, uh, which is in Vegas, or nice establishments that have really good pizza. If it's like shitty microwave pizza or from venues. Um, that I know that oversell like any like conventions and conventions. Oh, also, uh, I didn't even chat about that, but I went to the uh, Level Up Expo yesterday here in uh, how, Las Vegas. How'd that go? Uh, it was good. I uh, played Third Strike. Uh, got uh, three people to fight me, but it wasn't even. I didn't get them to fight me. I was playing. They walked up 100% casual. Fight me! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my quarter. Um, no, they definitely lost hard and then left and probably said, oh. I never played that game when the guy's a douchebag. Um, it was cool, though. It was cool. We got... Uh, we, wait, what? It's that bad. All he does is play video games and watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> and collect them. Um, <laughs> we got a t-shirt, walked around. It was pretty cool. It was smaller than I thought. I went to the Fit Expo. The same... Uh, 2018, the Arnold... The, uh, the Arnold. Um, and I got a whole... It was massive. So I really thought the level of Expo would be that big, and it was not. Same uh, venue? Same venue, same exact place, the uh, Sands, the Expo at Sands. Yeah. Um, uh, got a few t-shirts, got some, some swag. Uh, I got a new phone, um, uh, but that's, I don't know why I'm talking to you like we're not podcasting. I don't know why I mentioned that. Um, <laughs> uh, the venue was cool, though. It was a lot smaller than I thought, I think it was man. your AirBud your Air ego. Dude, I, yeah, I got AirPods in. Uh, I got it, yeah, for the, for the channel, I got to speak broke and... Use this shitty red one I use for my stream. Oh my god, man! Just get a Bluetooth headset. Call it a day. No, I love these ones. These ones are perfect. And I, I these are great. No, I fucking mean that, man. <laughs> you know, you find them out, man. You're used to people being I'm, humble and shit. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm literally they, they being... get a new iPhone. <laughs> They're fucking just making money. You guys see these moves I'm making? I'm here, then I'm here. <laughs> Listen, man, I've been in this fucking contract for two and a half years. I can't upgrade. I guess so, yeah. I wouldn't know about that. My, we'll see how shitty my fucking phone looks. I'm going to get the laughs out of the way so you can't tell her. Or so you you don't laugh at me now, but i got to crack that bitches. You probably can't see it too well. There oh, my go. God, JD. <laughs> I literally, I've dropped this like 12 times, and I was just like. Is that this? Oh, is that everything? Glass what? protector? No. It's glass. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, fuck, every time I right? like, um, Dread Sky, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> and then the one time, the one time, where's my shit at? Whatever, I can't find it. Um, the one time, I'm out drinking with the boys. <laughs> I'm walking to my car, just left Applebee's, <laughs> and <laughs> legit, dropped my phone on accident because I was reaching for. Uh, what's it called and and drink responsibly folks i wasn't freaking smashed or anything like that but what was smashed was your boy's phone <laughs> and i literally dropped it and i've got this shitty ass flap of a freaking uh what's it called of a wallet it used to have a magnet on the back on the back of this that would wrap around and that was where the magnet went it was such a powerful magnet it ripped out of the leather after a while <laughs> just like Argh! and then that was it so then I dropped it and it's and then magically opened up and <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's a fifty percent chance it's gonna land heads or tails, and it landed heads. <laughs> and it was it was raining and it was just 
I literally, it dropped, I just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it, and it just looked like hell on earth. Reading manga with this is a is a task, <laughs> let me tell you. Like, they'll sometimes say words, when I send you texts, and my texts don't make sense, it's because I don't know what I'm saying all the time, because I'm typing too fast, and I can't double check, because there's a crack right where that L is, and it looks like something else. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the struggles. Dude, I had no me. idea you were struggling like that, man. When can you... Uh, uh, this is... I mean, fuck it. We'll talk on the podcast. When can you I upgrade? Mean, I can upgrade. Here's the thing. Oh, God, my head. Here's the thing. Um, my brother gave me his old, oh, his old phone. He's got a, like an 8 or something like that. He's like, iPhone 8? Yeah, he's like, just yeah. take mine. I, I upgraded. I think he has the same one you have. He's like, I upgraded. And then they're like, oh, it's locked because I'm with Sprint. He's with Verizon. So then they're like, oh, it's it's locked. So then I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Or no, he's with T-Mobile. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Turns out he owes another 200 on that phone before he can actually unlock it and allow me to get it. That he's not paying. So I think I'm just going to pay the fucking 200. <laughs> I just be like, give me a fucking fixed phone that I, works, man. I, tr- I w- I, we can chit-chat <laughs> offline, but I definitely think you should try to go to your, your local provider. Man, fuck Sprint, man. I got to be honest. Fuck him. Fuck. <laughs> Just being real, man. Fuck. <laughs> so done with Sprint. So... I don't know anyone that loves their provider. <sighs> good point. That's a very good point. I, yeah, I, I, you fuck love... T-Mobile, bro. Are you kidding me? People love their insurance. People don't love their ISP. And people don't love their fucking their cable company, <laughs> which is usually the same thing. Right? But fuck Cox. Really? <laughs> Game of Thrones starts in 30 and you want to be out? <laughs> or. I got like, my rose and my popcorn and I can't <laughs> wait. Right? What's going on with Daenerys? You know, and then, like. <laughs> you, <laughs> you go over to fucking. You go over to, you know, like the internet and shit. Why is it acting so? Bam, bam, bam. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone's you over know. here to watch the big game. Okay. <laughs> looking stupid in front of my new co-workers you know <laughs> shit what's the fight going on canelo versus triple g yeah. that's that shit dude that's that shit oh uh, that's Fuck. a good one i still but you're I, very I, right i'm still emotionally drained from from the movie i watched so i feel like when i like when i laugh i get really red um how much <laughs> time, uh, how, how long we've been going dude i don't even fucking know <laughs> oh. i forgot to set the timer um i will tell you um, do you have a plan for this weekend? Do you want to talk about it? As far as to what we're obviously we're streaming and stuff like that, but like leading the week, leading to the weekend. Like obviously, I'm gonna try and stream Dead or Alive. Yeah. yeah um, uh, uh, let me caveat. I'm sorry. Let me caveat that. Uh, in the link below, guys, I'll put Twitch's. I'm sorry, Twitch's JD. Uh, JD's Twitch below. Uh, so Monday, uh, we're gonna shoot for Monday, probably six PST. Um, for the Bloodborne stream starting, if I'm not playing, yeah, 6:30. Man. <laughs> 6:30? Home to, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like you always start with something else, and then you switch over. Tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like um, 60 people last time. I didn't want to intrude. Not any you know? those 60 people <laughs> want to hang out with you until all 58 of them leave. Um, <laughs> you fucking stuck there again, dude. <laughs> you got the smug look on your face. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um. So I'll put JD's Twitch below. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, so honestly, if I'm looking at the week, we'll stream Bloodborne Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm out of pocket. Thursday, uh, Thursday I might stream. But I don't know. Friday for sure. We'll be streaming whatever content's coming out for FFBE um, and uh, Epic Seven. Saturday, you get in Friday night. Saturday we'll wake up. Um, God, it's been awful night. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday. We're gonna. Yeah, and we're I'm gonna. Literally hang. going. I'm going to a, a show. Yeah. Leaving from that show to go fly out, land. You're probably like the minute I get in your house, you're just gonna go upstairs to your room to sleep. We're pro- yeah. Gonna... I think we're both gonna go to sleep. I mean, if you're if you're not tired, then when we can. We'll, well, well, I don't I mean... want to ruin tomorrow or the following day. That's why. No. no so yeah. If so we're, if we're planning on it. Obviously, you got the banner stuff on Saturday. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Saturday, you'll do some pulls for me. And then we'll stream. If I get the VR, even better. If not, we'll just, you know, we can hang out, play some mobile games. We'll d- we're will we going to pre-record uh, this podcast for next week. Um, yeah. And then post it Monday still. Because Sunday we'll be watching BTS. Yeah. 
you know it's funny a lot of my coworkers are like oh, you're gonna go see bts I, th I thought that was sold out their tickets are expensive aren't they so, like, yeah. fucking no. oh also we're gonna go see final i mean we'll talk about this at another podcast and five more podcasts but we're going to that final fantasy show as well Oh god, dude! I'm gonna get fucking emotional on that shit. I that can Final tell. Fantasy VII. I yeah, will man, be. Yeah, gonna hit me. I'm I'm gonna millie rock to uh, Genova's theme. <laughs> That's 100% gonna happen. Uh, no, so you can't kick me out. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh god. Um, outside of that, um, is there a movie that's out when I'm down there? I don't know. On a Memorial Day, when I come out, we're going to go see Brightburn. I don't know I what's coming out. Like, but I know you lied on my side. So, um, Yeah, uh, Long Shot. Right? Seth Rogen? Oh, the comedy. I just and saw Charlie my wife. Charlie's there. Did they make it about the Avengers? No. Was it? Oh, my trailer was about Avengers, where he's like, hey, you know, you're going to get to see Vin Diesel in his most important role ever. And I was like, god damn, he's taking shots at everybody. Um, oh, I did not see that scene. Like, yeah, dude, it was, uh, no, it was, it was Seth Rogen that was like, he was just making yeah. fun of Avengers. But he's like, go check out my movie, too. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll go now see we it. saw a full trailer. It <laughs> so, looked good. I was like, I had it. no idea what this was. But uh, I don't really have anything else, because I think we might have hit an hour. <sighs> Listen, guys, you know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I think this podcast was fun. I think we kind of went off tangent, and that's typically how we vibe. Uh, it's hard for us to stay true to one path. Um, <laughs> like so Jedi. funny about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just it's true to one path. True to your heart. Yeah, stay true to your heart. Be the best you that you can be. Uh, if, if when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. <laughs> get out! Get out! <laughs> uh, anyway, no, no. But seriously, guys, um, shout out to everyone watching these podcasts. Uh, we appreciate the views. We appreciate the comments below. Um, Discord. Uh, both of our Twitches will be below in the description. Uh, let us know if you guys have any questions and if you guys are enjoying it. What the fuck are you laughing at, man? I'm trying to say goodbye. Eric comes in. I'm like, good. <laughs> and then he just looks at me like, <laughs> put something in my room and then leave. Uh, JD, you got a thing for the peeps? <laughs> don't hold that against me. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Um, yeah, uh, if we don't end up streaming, I'll probably stream Dead or Alive. Um, or if I can, I'll try and stream it on Wednesday. Because if I remember correctly, you don't stream on Wednesday. Nah, yeah. On Thursdays. I'm so, working on Wednesdays. That's an opening um, for me. So... Yeah, might do that, and then, and then we'll out. see you this weekend. Ah, it'll be fun. We're gonna do some shit, and uh, I'll be there for moral support on BTS. What do you think I'm there for? No, that's literally why your wife told me to come. <laughs> All right, guys, see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>